What's going on guys? This is JT here. I am here with some group players from the server Town Portal. We got my boy Sweet, we got my boy Hard, and we also got Amber Zahn. What we are going to be running is Pit of Anguish in Hell 2, which means really you're supposed to be Paragon level 30 to fight this. However, we are geared up and ready to go. Plus, we've already run this in the past. We know exactly what we need to do. So we're going to go ahead and show you guys a speed run of what this currently looks like. Now, this does dungeon in my opinion is okay you know it's a little bit it has a little bit too many too much talking involved for me like there's too many clips there's too many uh god what do you even what do you even call it whenever the screen's just straight or cinematics there's too many cinematics in it so we got abyssal tiller right here so we're gonna go ahead and smash this guy up earlier whenever i was fighting this guy i've actually never seen it and i've only seen it once somehow i got a hundred thousand damage crit which is absolutely ridiculous. And I've ran this probably like 10 to 12 times now, and it only happened once. So I don't know if I had some sort of damage buff when it happened or what. So one thing you'll notice is when we're running this instance is we're constantly running away to the next part. We don't even waste our time killing the trash mobs. Um, they do give EXP, but it's not even necessary because the main goal is to get to the final boss, kill the final boss, and collect the loot, right? So the objective in these instances is the faster you can do them, the more you can do them, the better chances you have of getting the loot, right? Because I'm specifically looking for a belt from this instant called Open Gut, and the odds of it dropping are probably like 1 in 20, 30 runs, something like that. So obviously the more you run it, the better your chance for the loot. So that is exactly why we're running this instance. Each person in here needs something from this final boss, right? And I did recently get a neck from this instance, but uh, I already had like four of them anyway, so I didn't know it. For some reason, I've only gotten necks. I don't know why. They dropped like six different items, but unfortunately, it's RNG, which means random numbers generated. So it could potentially take me like a hundred runs to get the belt that I'm looking for, right? So not only could it take me 100 runs to get the belt that I'm looking for, it could also take me another 100 runs to get the belt that I'm looking for with the stats that I'm looking for, right? So not only do you have to try to find the belt you're looking for, but I also would like to have a belt with preferably three stats. If not three stats, I would like the two main stats to be strength and vitality because I am a barbarian and that helps out the barb the most. Whenever these whenever these uh, bosses summon ad mobs, You'll see me use my Whirlwind a lot. The reason why I use my Whirlwind in that situation is because my Whirlwind as a bar barb actually pulls all the enemies into me and they attack me. Now, the reason why I want them attacking me is because I have a lot of life and I have really good gear and they won't kill off, let's say, like my Demon Hunter right here, Sweet, right? Because he, if he gets hit, he'll obviously die way quicker than I would, so I tank all the ads or as many as I can and try to pull them off him as well with... Uh, with my whirlwind. Alright, so they're cutscenes. They're called cutscenes, not cinematics, cutscenes. Yeah, I gotta cut through all these cutscenes. So here is the final boss right here. We got Zaka. Now, this boss is pretty ridiculous. You're supposed to actually dodge most of this stuff. However, I'm just so overly geared that I can just sit here and damage him full times if I can find out where I can hit him. So yeah, whenever it comes down with like circles, you can see he's throwing meteors at me. I'm just standing here taking the damage like it's no problem. He has three, three million life. Wow. Here comes some ads right here. We're going to go ahead and whirlwind and we actually took all those. So he rears back. When he rears back, he actually hits you with a lot of damage. Again, you'll see everybody else in here with me. They all run away from it. I just stand there and take the damage. I... I could run away for it for practice, but honestly, I'd be wasting my time because I can just sit here and damage them, right? So the more damage you get in, the better. So pretty much at all times, I'm just standing here tanking, spanking this guy. Not only am I a barb, but I'm a barb with really good gear, so that allows me to do that. Now, if I was in a higher difficulty, I would be getting smoked. So you can see we got all these ads here. He rares back. We take in the damage, which is okay because we have health globes here. We just heal right back up to full life. And there's four phases of this. You already saw the first two phases. This is the third phase. And then there's another phase where we actually, he eats us and we go inside his heart. So that is going to be happening in just a second. Let's see here. I guess it's better to attack him from the sides. I don't know. I always like to stand in the middle, but honestly, you can't even hit him in the middle sometimes, which is unfortunate. So it's definitely better to attack from the sides. When he gets to about 830,000 life, that's when he turns into the second phase. Here's the, I mean, the, uh, yeah, the next phase. 
So here's the next phase. He puts all of us in his mouth, which is a pretty cool cutscene, I suppose. Pretty sweet cutscene. So then we uh, he swallows this. We bust out his lungs, and now we're about to kill his heart, which this is the final stage, which honestly this stage is pretty easy, and really it's just to delay the instance a little bit more, in my opinion, so you can't run it quite as fast. And then I guess we're getting attacked by his spine. <laughs> or, what is this? The Puristic Maul. Alright, so let's go ahead and finish this up. We do have my specialty. So anytime I have my specialty up, I really don't use it that much unless they're unless I'm soloing. If I'm soloing like Rifts or something, I use it. But Or if I'm in uh, PvP and there's a big group of players around. It does a ton of damage, but it's really slow attacks. So we're just going to keep tanking spanking them. He's got 100,000 life left. Then we got to finish off this heart. The heart is... He got a death by the cutscene. That sucks. All right, so this is the final stage right here. We got 50,000 life left, and the boss is dead. Now, this is pretty gross. His heart explodes, and we actually just take in some blood everywhere. And now, we are now done with the instance. Now, you will see, once the instance is done, it drops the loot right here. And what I'm looking for is a green belt. But any green item could be a potential upgrade for me. So, here comes the items right here. And we got a green something. What do we got? A green neck. What do you know? That is like my... I don't even know how many green... I've gotten so many freaking green necks from this instance, it's ridiculous. So, maybe this one will be a three-stat green neck. Who knows? Anyway, guys, hope y'all enjoyed running the instance with me, and I am out of here for now. Peace.